Wall graphics, also known as fat heads or wall hogs, are photographs of athletes with the background removed. They are printed on woven polyester that has an adhesive backing. When applied to walls or windows, they are a great way to liven up bedrooms, game rooms, hallways, or offices. Next, I'll show you how we created this wall graphic and hung it in a hallway. We start with a high resolution photo. Using graphic software, we set the height of the photo and then trace a line completely around the tennis pro and his racket. This line does two things. One, it allows us to digitally remove the background so we don't waste ink by printing it. And two, it provides instructions that our printer cutter uses to cut the wall graphic vinyl after it has been printed. We also trace a line to remove the background between legs of the tennis pro. For this job, we wanted to print two of these wall graphics. The best way to do that was to move the graphic over, create a duplicate, turn it upside down, and now we use all of the width of the wall graphic material when we're printing. Next, we sent the file to our printer cutter. It took about 30 minutes to print the wall graphics and cut an outline around them. To shorten this video, I reduced the printing process to less than a minute. After the wall graphics were printed, I removed excess wall graphic material from the carrier. I separated the two wall graphics and taped the carrier with one of the wall graphics on a hallway wall. I carefully pull the top of the wall graphic off the carrier. I cut away the carrier behind the top of the wall graphic. I began attaching the wall graphic to the wall and smoothed the wall graphic material with my hand to prevent wrinkles and bubbles from forming. I am accustomed to using a felt squeegee and used it to apply the remainder of the wall graphic. I pulled the carrier away a little at a time and then smoothed the wall graphic. I repeated this process until the entire wall graphic was attached. Finally, I checked to be sure that all of the edges were smooth and there were no bubbles or wrinkles. If you would like to learn more about what we do and how we do it, send an email to info at embroideryd.com, visit our webpage at embroideryd.com, our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash embroidery D or call us at 845-724-3986. Vicki and I would be glad to hear from you.